Ayrton Senna, Alan Prost, Michael Schumacher and Lewis Hamilton. At least one of those names must sound familiar, as they were and still are considered few of the greatest Formula 1 drivers of all time. In 1946, right after World War II ended, the Fédération Internationale de l'Automobile standardized a set of rules that are considered the foundation of modern Formula 1 leading to hosting the very first Grand Prix in Silverstone, England. The adrenaline-filled Formula One races held the name Grand Prix, meaning the Grand Prize, and it refers to a series of races that are part of a World Championship Series, held in different countries under international rules. On average, it costs $40 million annually to host a Formula One Grand Prix. In total, F1 race organizers pay near $700 million per season. So why exactly do countries compete annually to host costly Formula 1 races? The obvious answer is its economic impact, with almost 100,000 fans attending each race in addition to the 10 participating teams involving between 300 and 1,200 members each. In other words, Formula 1 boosts tourism, which leads to higher consumer spending and contributes to a healthier economy. Recent research showed that becoming a regular host of such events is what delivers an actual increase in tourism, as it raises the profile of the country. Holding such a big event put the host country on the sporting map, through which they gain massive visibility as fans of the sport continues to increase year after year. Some governments are even willing to carry the burden of hosting the Grand Prix even if they have to pay to cover the buses. But why? It is simply because they want the country as a whole to benefit from the money tourists are going to spend to profit and support local businesses. This was the case of the Australian Grand Prix in 2014. Formula One, which creates over 430 hours of TV broadcasts, give countries plenty of time for destination branding that eventually leads to tourists visiting the country to see the uniqueness of the destination. Due to the noticeable increase in viewership, it is estimated that F1 recently renewed its US media rights deal with American sports channel ESPN for around $75 million annually, proving that media rights is extremely valuable for the sport. Formula One teams also contributes to the success of companies that owns them, as it boosts their profit. Red Bull, for example, is currently making millions of dollars because of their flagship Formula One team, Red Bull Racing. The company uses their F1 team as a marketing vehicle to promote their products. Earlier in 2023, Qatar Airways has signed a deal with F1 to become their official global airline partner, as they put confidence in the social impact of the sport as a unifying power that brings people from all over the world together. In addition to the global partnership, Qatar Airways will be the title sponsor of the Qatar Airways Grand Prix coming to Doha from October 6 to 8, 2023. Formula One first sprinted its way into the Middle East in 2004, when the first Bahrain Grand Prix was held and won the best organized Grand Prix by the FIA. Abu Dhabi hosted its first Grand Prix in 2009. A few years later, it was followed by Saudi Arabia and Qatar which both were added to the official calendar of Grand Prix races in 2021.